Hello and welcome to day 11. Today, continuing with the kind of timey wimey promotion, we have a bit of the Maurice Rose interview. This was done at Hooverville 3 last year. I hope you enjoy it. Go buy timey wimey, it's only £2.50. Okay, I'm here with Maurice Rose. Um, you played a character in The Caves of Androsani, which is the most loved TV series, sorry, episode of all time. So I hear. Um, what, how did you get the role? Um, I was offered it. We just offered yeah. it on the spot. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's because I played so many bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Stutz is a real bad guy, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a reputation for being bad guys. Yeah. Great. And uh, on set, I mean, we hear stories on DVD documentaries and things like that about uh, Graham Hobb being very practical on set and things like that. Was that a different directing experience for you or not? Was it? No, but what was interesting with Graham was, because he was like I was, in those days much younger, but he was very adventurous and, and very brave with his ideas and stuff. So there was a lot of stuff in the episode that um, hadn't been done before. I mean, like, there was a particular line which I had to say where, to the guys. I said something about, are you going to come with me? And they went, no, 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 we're not coming with you. No, no. I was then supposed to sort of say, I'm going to count to seven, if you don't come, you know, you're in trouble. Yeah. And I said, this is old hat, the kids are never going to, you know, like, why don't I just shoot them? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what we did. But we did it in such a way that you didn't see them die. Yeah. He just said, when they said, no, 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 we're not coming with you, he said, okay, fine, and walked off. And then, yeah. Opened the door, shut the door as if he'd gone, and walked back and shot them. So yeah. you didn't see them die. But with a kind of what do you call it, or like a radio editing, yeah. the mind of the audience jumps yes. and they think they've seen it. Yeah. Um, so stuff like that was, uh, was, was good. The, and it was a very adult episode, I thought. It was. It was, very and it was quite sexy too. I mean, it was like the Phantom of the Opera House. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, young people appreciate that kind of thing. They're not, oh god, it's written for kids and there's a big monster in it. Yeah. It wasn't. So I think that's partly why it was so successful. And, and Graham's directing. Yeah. Have you got any kind of funny set stories from your time on the episode and like about Peter or Nicola and people like that? No, not really, because I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really mix with that. I was mostly with the guys. You know? Yeah. And, um, I didn't really mix with them a great deal because yeah. I was above them and yeah. nastier than them in any case. I did fall apart when I saw the monster because there is a monster in it, but very yeah. briefly. It's like a travelling head, it's like a glove puppet that you go, what? Yeah. You're supposed to be afraid of that? Um, so we saw very little of that. Yes. But uh, no, it was, it was good fun and, and, and things like the rocks in the cave and stuff. Which looked very realistic, but a so lightweight you can just pick them up with one hand. Yeah. But no, nothing, nothing exceptionally funny that I can think of. Uh, you've obviously done an awful lot of other work, lots of war films, um, lots of other, sure. other science fiction as well. Yeah. If you had to pick one as being your favourite of all of the things you've worked on, what would it be and why? What the space? The space thing. It, it, anything at all. So. Oh, anything at all. Yeah. So anything that you've worked on, what's been your favourite? Oh boy. Overall. Uh, everything's my favourite. It's just wonderful yeah. to be to be employed. Oh, thank you very much. It was that, wasn't it, David? Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, Tutti Frutti, most definitely. Uh, Nightmare Man, which Graham was on, but he wasn't a director. It was um, somebody else. But he was a he was a assistant director. Nightmare Man was good. Um, I think Douglas Campion he directed that. Most, and a lot of the stuff in America because I'm just like a I'm just like a kid. I mean I just yeah. love being in America. I go to MGM and 20th Century Fox and Paramount and Studios. I was like a kid on Christmas Day. It's just you know it was just. This is fantastic. This is just great, and uh, and, I, and I take my work very seriously. But, uh, 
I'm not a great fan of the business, but I took my work seriously. And just one last question. Um, if you were offered the chance to return to Doctor Who, what sort of a role would you like to play? Doctor Who? Really? Yeah. If you couldn't, play, if you couldn't play Doctor Who, then would you like to play uh, any iconic villain from the series or um, anyone like that? Would you like to play someone brand new? Come back as Stokes' son. Ah. How about that? Oh, that'd be good. Oh, no. Yes, that, that's not the son. Brilliant. But not a young son, an old son. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, thank you.